Hey, Dale Hunto here at the Historical Society again with Wet Sail Start. We're looking at this buggy, Wet Sail. This, people my generation, we think of this thing as like the one Doc Adam used on Gunsmoke. That's the only time I've seen anything this beautiful. But tell us a little bit about this buggy. Well, of course, these buggies were used uh, in all the people that were had enough money to buy them for, for their family and Sunday school. Church use. Yes, sir. They had these buggies and people to town on Saturday. Uh, this buggy belonged to Mr. Lewis Stucker, a prominent farmer that came here sometime in the early 1900s and bought uh, up to close to a, a section of land out east of Heber, close to the Winkler Bridge. In fact, part of the Barnett Landing out there is part of his property. And it goes on out to Stecker Road, uh, close to uh, 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 well, let's see. I'm not sure what all's out there, but anyway, it's out east of town, uh, and his old home place is still there. Yes, sir. And two or three years ago, his granddaughter gave us this buggy, and uh, it's complete uh, in every area. There's nothing been missing. Uh, the paint is original. Of course, the top and seats were all there when we got the buggy. Right. But we had to send them to uh, the Amish people up in Missouri. Yeah. And have it have them uh, restored to the original, the way they look. Uh, now, this this buggy was built by a company down in South Illinois, close to St. Louis. And uh, by looking at the nameplate on the back, we went to the, uh, to the uh, computer and found that that company was in existence from 1908 to 1913. Wow. And so that, during that time, Mr. Stecker bought this buggy. So we went to the county records, the uh, uh, personal property records. Yes, sir. And he had assessed the buggy in 1910. So this undoubtedly was that buggy. It had to be, ah, based yeah. on based on the uh, years that they were made and him having the buggy in 19 and 10. Uh, so this buggy right now is 110 years old. Immaculate condition. It's and everything about it is original. The, every, all this woodwork here, uh, this year and here has the carving on the ends that are still original. Nothing's broke about it. The flooring in the uh, buggy is large, must be about 16 inch. Uh, half inch boards. Uh, the, the whip, <laughs> buggy whip is here, still here. Uh, now, then, uh, interesting thing about this buggy, it's a two horse buggy. And usually these buggies were only by pulled by one horse, and there wasn't any need to have two right, horses. Yeah. But Mr. Stecker felt like he needed two horses to it. And I can, uh, knowing Probably, Mr. Stacker, I never knew the man, but uh, thinking about his uh, statue in life, I can just imagine he and his wife, and they had one daughter, uh, hitching this up two fancy horses with the, <laughs> with the uh, fancy bridles and, and uh, harness going to church on Sunday. Wow. And that would be just like me going into church with a Rolls Royce. Exactly right. Yeah. Something of that type back mm -hmm. then. So it, it's, uh, uh, oh, also, Mr. Stecker was on the board of the, uh, and stockholder of the Cleveland County Bank during that time. Uh, records show that he was there during the Depression and the uh, uh, stock uh, market Fall in 1929, yeah. he was on the board of the Cleveland County Bank. Uh, so undoubtedly, he was a fairly well-off gentleman. Well, he would, would look good like coming to, to town. And I would have liked to have met yeah. Mr. Lewis Stecker. You bet. Uh, but his buggy is here for us, and I think it's something that we should be very proud of. In this, and we are here in his You bet. Hey, folks, I, I tell you what, if you get a chance, come down here to the Historical Society. We've got the, the neatest treasures in the state of Arkansas right here. And we'll want to give a big shout out to all the members and all the 
staff that they've got down here. They work their heart and soul out down here. Come down here and check this stuff out. I, I mean, you'll get a joy out of this down here.